surprised. Happy. Facial expressions reveal emotions. Duke senior Jasmine Pettiford studied how children read faces to determine emotional states of strangers. I wanted to see if children um, look at different areas of the face in order to get information on how to perceive different types of emotions. So the first part was um, finding different Ekman faces, which represent the six basic emotions. And we did a design where we present each face to the child with an intervening fixation cross. And um, they have to tell us um, which emotion they think it was. We're using the Toby eye tracking system, which basically gives us duration of fixation, so how long they're looking at certain areas of the face. And from that, we can determine which areas they spent the most time on to see um, what exactly um, helps them to determine what emotions a person is presenting. Children that are not autistic, they have a very organized pattern, so they're looking kind of a, a T-shaped pattern across the um, eyes, nose, and the mouth, um, whereas if they were autistic, they wouldn't do that. So it's very interesting information to get back from the children's studies.